New year means new fashion trends to get excited about. There's a lot of stuff to go over in the video, so I say we jump straight into it. So let's kick it off with number one, which we're gonna be talking about jackets, and a great jacket trend for the new year for 2023 is moto and racing style jackets. Now, whether you saw your favorite athlete or your celebrity sporting these jackets, Vogue also published an article talking about how that sort of moto and racing style is gonna be popular for 2023. And there's a number of great styles and brands to choose from. The high end would be sort of Palace and Gucci, which drop these very coveted leather racing style jackets so much so that somebody actually published a TikTok saying like holy crap I actually found somebody wearing this in public because they do fetch a high price point Supreme has published their own versions of the motorcycle jacket as well as brands like Aimé Leondor which to me is one of the best options that I've listed so far now what's characteristic of these jackets are the bright colors the bold fonts and even patches that you'll see throughout the jacket the problem is that a lot of the leather ones do fetch a high price point. So if you wanted to dip your toe and get something that's a little bit more entry level, the best place to look would be secondhand markets like eBay, Grailed, and the key search term would be nylon cafe racer jackets. You're gonna see a lot of great vintage styles that are much more affordable and still have that same look and feel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave as many links as I possibly can of some of the images that I've shown so far in the description below. Now, if you're like me and you're a little bit more understated, then a great alternative to this style of jacket would be just a simple leather blousin. Blousin, I never know how to pronounce it. Regardless, it's just a very plain, simple leather jacket with a collar and maybe some side pockets. That's basically it. And what I love most about these, it just has a very clean aesthetic and can be worn in a ton of different ways, whether you prefer more of a streetwear style or something that's a little bit more of the menswear aesthetic. And a great option that you can grab from these is genuine leather and it's actually from the Coach Outlet. Or what you could do is grab a vegan leather option from this brand Carb Studios. And what I love most about these is that um, they still have that simple aesthetic, but they also come in two colors. And GQ stated in their 2023 trends video that leather is gonna be a big trend in spring and summer. Another jacket style that they had mentioned are actually bomber jackets. However, they have a little bit of a caveat, which is that they're bomber jackets with a collar. The one that they had listed is actually from Amazon, which is affordable. Check the link in the description. I also grabbed one recently from Oak and Fort, um, which is unisex and comes in three different colors. Um, I'm wearing a size small here. And what I love most about this, it has a boxy fit and it's cropped at the waist. So if you give it a little shirt tuck, it's really clean looking. And like I said, it can be worn in a ton of different aesthetics. Now I think that shell jackets are gonna to continue to make a splash towards the beginning of 2023 as part of that blowcore subculture. You could go with Arc'teryx jackets or you could go with my personal favorite which are the Nike ACG shell jackets. They have two different options. They've got the uh, Gore-Tex ones which is obviously a very premium price or you could go with the more affordable option which is the Stormfit version. I just grabbed this one in Olive. Fleece jackets are also gonna be very popular at the beginning of 2023 as we go from winter to spring. Uh, Stussy obviously had one of the most trendiest jackets if you would call it that um, but there's so many great options you could go with Patagonia which is like a staple or you could go with uh, something that's more of like an independent small brand which is every other Thursday uh, which I grabbed recently so there's tons of options to go around for sure now moving on from jackets to tops and sweaters we see mohair cardigans now this is something that I've more so been observing around the internet is becoming more and more trendy as opposed to reading it in an article however um, there's so many different great brands and directions that you can go from. Whether it's Stussy with a solid color statement cardigan, all the way to Supreme with something that has color and a pattern, all the way to something that's in the middle and affordable like Abercrombie or the brand Cost. Now I actually have the Cost um, cardigan in this mohair fabric and I can't speak about it enough. It's really, really great quality. Now something similar to this that I've been really getting into recently are Varsity cardigans. And there's so many brands and different styles to choose from. You can go with something a little bit more a premium which would be Beams Plus, or you could go with uh, Frank and Oak, which is more of an affordable, and it's also a Canadian brand, which is something that I love to support. I actually found some great ones, uh, uh, vintage and secondhand, that you can find on eBay, Etsy, for example, and I absolutely love this, and I styled it in a recent winter outfits video, so if you want to see more winter outfits for a more casual or streetwear style, be sure to hit that video at the top there. So let's talk some jeans and pant trends. Well, 
for the guys still rocking skinny jeans out there, it may be your time to switch over to baggier fitting denim. And in fact, for 2023, we're gonna see a big trend with jeans getting even baggier. Now, someone who I've been seeing online that's been styling it really well is actually Justin Bieber. And uh, one of the brands that he rocks often is Fear of God. And they actually have Fear of God Essentials, which is obviously their more affordable option, who have some two great styles right here, whether it's a dark black wash or something that's a bit more of a mid or light wash. So the styles for everybody to choose from now this style obviously lends itself to a more streetwear baggier aesthetic so wearing these with your varsity jackets or just your your, your oversized hoodies is is the definitely the move here now another trend i keep hearing more and more about uh seeing it on tiktok and on podcasts like the throwing fits podcast is the return of raw denim and i think this is in response to sort of that y2k aesthetic um where we saw you know rappers back in the 2000s wearing avisu jeans and um really getting back to the roots of japanese denim and which is in some way a, a sort of follow-up of the workwear style that we've been seeing because that's like kind of the history of raw and salvage denim and with that said uniqlo makes a great pair of salvage denim uh, that i have these ones are not raw so they won't bleed onto any fabrics however naked and famous has both raw and salvage that you guys can choose from now a big footwear trend that we're going to see in 2023 are mule shoes now i mentioned this last year but it's going to be even more prominent next year as well in fact gq named their shoe of the year uh to be mule shoes as a sort of like an umbrella and there's a number of reasons why these are becoming more and more prominent. I think it started back in the pandemic when people were staring at home, they wanted more casual footwear to wear. Then LVMH, which is Louis Vuitton Moet Hennessy Group, purchased Birkenstock, which became very trendy on TikTok, for example. And now we're seeing mule shoes all over the runway, which then trickles into sort of everyday fashion. Now it seems like most brands have their own version of the mule shoe. And I think that it's important to note that there are so many different varieties of quick, soft, slip on shoes to wear from whether it's Merrill and their new version of the Hydra Mock, which I think is super, super clean, all the way to Nike. Nike has their own sort of Nike Lab version of the slip-on shoe, which is, I think, very interesting. I sort of, my style lends itself more to the Birkenstock Boston side. I actually just bought a new pair of them. However, you could go Sui Coke. You could go the North Face Nupsy Corduroy Slippers. You could go the Ugg Tasman, which I'm literally currently wearing right now. Super cozy vibes. Off-White has made their own version of the mule. The New Balance 2002R has its own mule. And there's also the Fear of God California. However, if you're more of that streetwear sneaker purist, trust me, this is something that you guys want to get into. It's just super cozy, very easy to wear, and there's something for everybody. Now, if you want to learn about trends that you need to leave behind in 2022, click this video right here. Or if you want to learn about some of the very best sneakers to wear right now, click this video right here. So why don't we check one of those out, and I'll meet you guys there.